What is up Stubborn Sharks, it's your boy JR Fitness here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be the challenge videos for my 10 subscribers. I've been talking about this one for a little while now, and I'm already on tw 16, almost 20, which I'm happy about. And yeah, the challenge video is basically going to be me setting my one, ma my one rep max for a variety of exercises, like well-known powerlifting exercises, like squats and deadlift. I might even add some dips, or I will. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And this, I'm just basically, I've never actually used weights. I never really had any weights. I've got weights and I'm basically be try, I'm going to try to show that even a weak, skinny 15 year old me that does calisthenics and body weight exercises, like you can still be strong. Like there's a huge myth that calisthenics athletes don't build too much muscle mass but they do and you can watch so many videos proving you wrong and even if I don't if even if I don't show it like I'm just I'm not even that good at calisthenics I'm just a beginner but anyway let's see how we go I put on my story if you DM me and say you've subscribed and I see you have I'm gonna basically I put I shouted them out of my story so if you haven't if you don't follow me, follow me and then follow them. Just my username is just the same as YouTube. And these, each person that went in, like each person that subbed, I said I would put you in a random draw to be featured in my YouTube video. Next one I do. And this is it. All the names are up here. I'm not going to let you see them. Only the five winners. So starting up. All these people are very nice to support me very early in my journey. And the first winner is going to be Chris Colin Man 696 Go follow him now. He's amazing. Like everyone in this list. I just quickly had to take his name out of the draw so it doesn't get picked again. And we're going to see who gets next win. I mean next shout out. Oh, this guy. This guy... Him and I have a pretty long story, or not long story, but he actually speaks Portuguese. He followed me and I talked to him and he wasn't answering. And then I was like, some, somehow he said it was Portuguese and then I started going on Google search, Google Translate, and we actually started talking and then he did it, so that's really nice. Definitely go sub to him. I mean, go follow. At Carlos Silva... S six zero two eight. That was a struggle. Here we are. Not too many names left because I didn't get too many people. Heat Father YT. Oh, this guy's nice. You can go follow his Instagram. Also, his YouTube channel is in his link in his bio. He does he does Fortnite and he's pretty legendary. Moving on to our next winner. Looks like we've only got a couple names left. And it is going to be Jason. Oh, this guy also has a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to him now and follow his Instagram. You can see it there. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But yeah, Jason. Yeah, he's a cool guy as well. Definitely go sub. He's also similar goals to me. Or oh, he's, he's way above me. Similar sort of athlete to me though. Like calisthenics. But he's way above me. Quickly go take his name out. Last one, this guy was my first subscriber from Instagram. Definitely go follow him. Like, obviously, I have my friends and stuff. And just a bonus, he's always been a supporter of me. Just go sub to Bam Bam. <laughs>
What is up? The, as you can see, I'm taking a different approach. I'm going to be speaking through the audio through the video. That is just to trim it so it's nicer for you guys. A nice shorter video, but you can still hear me through it and whatever I need to know. Basically, I'm starting with dips. And the rules are pretty simple. You get down to at least 90 degrees and you get back up and see how much you can do. Already you can tell that I'm quite cheap, or actually not really quite cheap, I just don't have the right equipment at this time. And I'm basically using a couple of my belts just to hold the weights, which you'll see what happens later. After doing that one rep it felt super awkward with all three different weights on it. So I, I didn't really know what to do but I was like, I might as well just put a 20 on and then just a 10 so he's still adding 5 kilos but as you can see I'm, all, I'm, just, I'm just struggling the two belts aren't even the same length they're not the same holes because you can't expect then I'm just struggling to get it on now and if you're wondering side note off topic but if you're wondering what I mean by weight added that's not how much I'm wet oh look that's that struggles because that's not how much I'm adding from last weight, it's how much altogether. I don't know why I put the added. I think it was just because I just wrote it because it because I wrote my body weight and I'm just saying how much weight I'm adding to the body weight. But you understand that's just the total weight. Oh and you can see right now. Yeah, one of the belts broke, the buckle. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Look at me telling you about, it was just super, super awkward and you can see when I tried to go down the big weight, it touched the ground, that's why I tried to put it on my neck and lots of stuff. Just wasn't going my way. Yeah, look, look at it. I don't know if you noticed a little while back when I did say it, one belt, belt, the buckle actually did break. And then that one was getting damaged, and then I just gave up. I sort of, one rep sort of counted, but I'm just going to say what I recorded, the max was 25 kilos. Really disappointing 25 kilos. I know I can do better. Anyway, moving on to the squats. The squats. Like the um, like the dips. There's also a 90 degree rule, but it's sort of more with the legs. You sort of have to go 90 degrees or lower, like I just did then, and that's what classifies as a squat. And my squats are honestly not very impressive in my opinion, but I've never really trained them and my majority of my life that I've have like started to train or play a lot of basketball, I've had knee problems. So that also hasn't helped squatting at all. And then as you can see here, my problem is that swing that I did how I started my squats in my early ones it's good when the weight isn't too heavy but then it gets hard and what most people have in, like they do it in the gyms and they just stand there and then pull it down and that's what I'm trying to create here and the other bars that I tried that was just too low and this one this one I could do quite easily. The mum wasn't too happy with the chair, but she was okay. And don't worry, I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm just one sec and then back down. Well, I just got a heart attack. 
the whole thing just shut off after hours of editing. But luckily, Lord, I saved. And as you can see now, um, coming across similar problems to the dips, just not having the right equi equipment, which is making it a lot harder, even if just another person being there would help. But that's okay, we don't make any complaints. Like we don't complain on this channel and I'm happy I'm more than happy with what I have and if not having the right stuff makes me a little bit worse like with my one rep max that's okay I accept it you guys hopefully can understand but it does make it a little bit harder when you basically have to stack chairs and pillows on each other just to try to get it and then that one was a fail But in the end, yeah, also my neck was hurting. I don't want to look like a dummy with this pillow, but... <laughs> Just casually hopping myself up with the music and you know, jamming out in my room with a pillow on my neck. And I know I don't have probably any good technique, but I don't train it. I got up pretty easy, got down easy. Of course, getting down easy. I mean, getting down is the easy part. Getting up is hard. Got up pretty easy. Definitely could have done heavier squats, but to keep everything safe, I just didn't. And like, especially I didn't want to damage any furniture. Cause like, my chest of drawers is already damaged a little bit. Which is annoying, but it's alright. Did it for you guys and for me. I know I could have done heavier, but it is what it is. Going on to the deadlifts, I was actually pretty pumped. Because there's literally nothing that can really affect me on this one. You literally just stand there, pull up the bar from my understandings. And yeah, like, there wasn't anything extra that other people had. I was on the equal, like, uh, a bit goofy on it. And I was like, equal. But, I don't know what the word, but, like, equal chance or whatever. Already on 100 kilos, 100 kilos, 120 pounds. Again, to take my form and help me out. Because so I don't know the form. And if you're wondering why I just stopped when I got that quite easily, the bar actually only holds 90 kilos. And it, that's 90 kilos right there of weight and 10 kilo bar. And I actually don't have any more weights just because I didn't buy any more because the bar, I didn't want it to get damaged. And that's just from a different angle, showing you my form. That right there, folks, concludes my video just about. Hope you guys enjoyed it so much. Please comment down below what you want me to see, what you want me to do next, and what you guys want to see. Comment down below what your max, all the things I did are, and how do you think I went? How was my form? Please subscribe, like, and shout me out, and follow my Instagram. And if you haven't already, follow those people that I showed, showed you at the start of the video. They will also be in the link down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And for my quote of the day, fitness is like a relationship. You can't cheat and expect it to work. Peace. In the trumpet, a little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of Erica by my side, a little bit of Rita's all I need, a little bit of Tina's what I see, a little bit of Sandra in the sun, a little bit of Mary all night long.